Today we get to play around with RGB LEDs. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Quick Tech Tutorials. Today we're going to step it up from a regular LED to an RGB LED, which stands for red, green, and blue. So it's wired similar to a regular LED, but there's a couple things that we need to note. Uh, when we build the circuit, I'll go through some details, what you need to be aware of and what you need to look for and how it gets wired up. For right now, we're just gonna be focused on the programming. Um, so just like the regular LED, the first thing I need to do is I need to uh, identify which pins I'm going to use and what I'm going to name them. Now, if you're unsure of what I'm doing in the beginning, please make sure to check out the tutorials on how to uh, light up a regular LED as I go into that in a little more detail. Uh, so before my void setup, Right, I'm going to use pins 9, 10, 11 again, so I'm going to use uh, red, or I'm going to name pin 11 red. I'm going to name uh, the green, or I'm going to name pin 10 green, and then I'm going to name uh, pin 9 uh, blue. Alright, so I have that. Oops. There we go. Now, once I do that, um, I need to now state what each pin is going to do. So I'm going to go into my void setup now. Uh, we're going to type in pin mode. Right, again, this is just a review from what we did with the regular LED. So if I'm going a little quick or you're unsure what I'm doing, please make sure to look at the previous tutorials. Uh, so red, right, we give it a name instead of having to write the pin number each time. That makes it nice and easy so that if I change pins, I just have to change the number up top. I don't have to change uh, the pin throughout my entire program. So red is going to be an output. Uh, we're going to make green, of course, an output. And then, of course, the last one, we're going to make blue an output. All right, so in my void loop section, this is the program that's going to repeatedly run. Now, in an RGB LED, we have three colors that uh, can be utilized, and, and combining these colors can make other colors uh, as well. So what I want to do is I want to go through all of the main colors uh, with my RGB LED. So I'm going to have it flash red, green, and blue, and then uh, mixing a combination of red and green will get yellow with RGB. Uh, mixing green and blue will give us like a turquoise color. Mixing red and blue will give us purple. Um, and then having all of them on will actually give us white. So we're going to go through all of the colors. Now, uh, in the previous tutorial, we looked at a regular LED and we had digital right, which just had the input high or on or had the input low, which was off. In this case, we're going to use something called analog right, which is going to allow us to set the exact value for each color. Now, I'm not going to go into full detail, but uh, what you need to know is that the maximum value you could write in is 255 and the lowest would be zero. And you could type in any number in between. Uh, the zero represents it completely off and 255 represents it completely on. Uh, it goes into talk about how each of these values uh, represents 8 bits or a byte. Uh, and in binary, right, if you do 2 to the 8th power, you would get 256. There's a little bit of math involved here. I'm not going to go uh, too into it, but just know that 0 is completely off, 255 is completely on, and then you're allowed to type in any value in between to get it partially lit up. So the first thing I want to do is I want to have just my red turn on. So we're going to type in uh, analog right, capital W and right. All right, similar to what we did for the regular LED. Instead of digital right, we're typing analog right. I'm going to type red. 255 all right i'm gonna go now to my green i'm gonna just make it zero i want it off again i just want red starting off all right and then blue again zero all right and i want the red to stay on for one second so when we talked about time we type in delay and Everything is in milliseconds, so one second equals a thousand milliseconds. So delay a thousand. All right, and this code would just say that my red's going to turn on for one second. Now what I want to do is I want to go right from red to green. So I'm going to just type this whole thing over, but instead of red being 255, green is going to be 255. So I'm just going to copy all this. Oops. All right, paste it down and just change red to zero and green to 255. All right, so now my green would stay on for one second. I'm gonna do this one more time, but now make, oops, 
my blue 255. So now my blue would turn on for one second. All right, so right now I'd have red, green, blue. Red, green, blue. Again, void loop, this is gonna constantly repeat itself. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to make two colors on at the same time. So I have red, green, and blue, and now the next color I'm gonna add is yellow, right? And in RGB, the way we get yellow is having red and green on at the same time. So I have red at 255, I'm now gonna make yellow, uh, green 255, all right? So with these two on, this would be my yellow would turn on for one second. All right, copy and paste it again. Uh, I'm going to now have my red and blue turn on, and that's gonna give us our purple. All right, so we went from yellow, now we have red and blue on going to purple, All right? And that's on for one second. I'm gonna make red zero, I'm gonna make green 255, and I'm gonna make blue 255. All right, and that's gonna give us this kind of teal color, and that's gonna stay on for one second. And then the last thing I need to do, or the last thing I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna have all of them turn on, and that's gonna give us our white. All right, now some people say, oh, you get your LED to turn black. It's not really black, it just means off. Clearly you would make all of these zero. I'm not gonna put that in right now. Uh, so just reviewing my code really quick, right? I have red on for a second, green on for a second, blue on for a second, uh, red and green, that's gonna give us our yellow for a second. Red and blue is going to give us our purple for a second. Green and blue will give us our teal. And then all three of these on will give us our white. All right. Uh, I'm going to check the code really quick and make sure it's good. So I'm going to hit verify. All right, I don't want to save it right now, but I'm going to hit verify. And it's working on just checking everything, making sure we're all good. Uh, if we have any errors, you will see a red message come up in the bottom. All right, it's just finishing up. We shouldn't have any issues. Nope, all right, so it's all good. So now that I know that my program is all good, we're gonna switch over to the Arduino and we're gonna build our circuit. All right, so in front of me, I have uh, two things here. On the left, I have my regular Arduino board and on the right, I also have my expansion prototyping board. Now I'm gonna use these just because it's a little easier than bringing out the entire breadboard and since this circuit is pretty small, uh, the expansion board works just fine. So what I did ahead of time is I plugged in my 1,000 ohm resistors into pins 9, 10, and 11 on my expansion board. Now the expansion board on the other side has a whole bunch of pins coming out of it. All right, now these pins plug directly into our Arduino board, right? And all the pins line up. Oops, see if we can get a little focus on here. There we go. All right, so this all lines up directly. There's only one way to plug it in. So I'm just going to push this right on top, get all the pins lined up. Oops, one off there. There we go. All right, and it snaps right in. You wanna make sure that the pins are pushed all the way down. All right, and this is all good. So now all the pins that are, that are on my regular Arduino board all line up, all right, which is good. So I have pins nine, 10, and 11. Uh, that I'm using with this circuit, right? And I have a thousand ohm resistor coming out of each one, uh, plugging right into the little mini breadboard that's on top. Right, as we stated in the other tutorials, you cannot have power going directly to an LED. You will burn it out. Um, now, in my hand here, I have an RGB LED. Now, you'll notice that one of the obvious differences between this and a regular LED is that this has four prongs or four leads coming out of it versus a regular LED has two. We talked about a cathode and an anode with an LED. Now on an RGB LED, the one I have in my hand here is called a common cathode, right? Now on a regular LED, the longer lead is your anode, which is positive. In this case, the longer lead or the longest lead is my cathode. So the other three leads are my uh, positive, so my red, green, and blue. So if I'm looking at my RGB LED and my longest pin, right, is the second one in from the left, that's my cathode. The first pin all the way to the left is my red, right? The third one in, or the first one after the common cathode is my green. And then the one all the way to the right, the shortest one is my blue. So this is important to know which direction you're putting it in your board so that we don't have our colors backwards or all mixed up. So I said that red was pin 11, green was pin 10, and blue was pin nine. So I'm gonna go plug this in uh, and finish building the circuit really quick. All right, so I just completed it, nothing crazy. So you can see I have my resistors going into, right, my red, my green, and my blue. 
right? My common cathode, I have a jumper cable coming out, right, from that common cathode to ground on my board. So this circuit is all complete and built. What I'm gonna do now is plug it into the computer, run the code, and if we did it right, it should, it should flash through all the colors that we programmed. All right, so the circuit is all built and completed. Uh, we already uh, checked our code and everything works out good. So now I'm gonna download it to my uh, my Arduino and we're gonna see if the LED changes all the different colors that we have it set to All right, so I turned my lights off as well just so it's a little easier to see uh, the LED light up So we don't want to save it right now All right, let's upload it and if we did it right We should start off with the color red and then go through green blue and all the other colors we have it programmed to so it's just finishing loading And everything looks good. Again, we have red, green, blue, yellow, purple, teal, white, and then it goes back. Now, you could play around with all these different values. It doesn't have to be 255 or zero. You could plug in a bunch of different numbers and get any kind of color you want. 